Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashis of Rabbi Yom enforced. And we're discussing over here the chi of the obligation, bedikas peros v'yerokais, the obligation that we have to check our fruits and vegetables for bugs. Therefore, somebody wants to eat a fruit. Even if you don't see any bugs crawling around on it. However, it's known that when this type of fruit grows in the ground, there are bugs that congregate around it. You have to be concerned that perhaps there are talas, there are bugs that are in it. And therefore you would not be allowed to eat it unless you check it first. In yesh by talas to make sure that there are no bugs there when you're going to take a bite. Yesh hevdel bezebein amedinos. There is a difference depending on the climate or the country that you are living in. Ki yesh pri shev medina achas. There are fruits that in one country shchiche by talaim. There might be bugs very often in those fruits. U medina acheres ein darkly matzib by talaim. And in other countries, other cities, other states, other parts of the world. You will rarely ever find taloyim. You'll, you'll rarely find bugs that are there. Lechain therefore ein lecho bli bedika kol prisha darkly matzi ba taloyim ba isa medina. If you are in a place where it is known that bugs are found in those fruits, then even if you come from a town where bugs are not normally found in those fruits, you have an obligation to look and to check and to make sure that there are no taloyim, there are no insects or bugs in this particular fruit that you want to eat. If the fruit completely um, ripened before you, I'm sorry, if, if you already cooked the fruit before you checked it, so let's say you wanted to make um, boiled uh, apples and you didn't check, or, you, or, or a fruit, let's say strawberries, which is a big problem of bugs. Let's say that you ended up cooking the strawberries before you had a chance to check them. You're going to have to ask your local Orthodox rabbi if you're going to be allowed to eat them. He will go based probably upon what happens in that city, in that town, in that country, what kind of fruit it was, and the like. And one more halacha, Yerakai shall call a medina is muchzak in the yosbem taloyim v'yaselecha oisam medika. Vegetables in all countries, basically, he says, are considered that they have bugs, and therefore it's also you're not allowed to eat them unless you check the vegetables. Kamochein, so too. Ale yiraka is the leaves of the vegetables. Kamokruv, for example, like uh, cabbage, vetered and spinach. So you have to check every single leaf by itself. Neged or Hashemesh, by using the light of the sun or another one of these fancy bug light apparatuses that you could use. Every leaf, meaning... Uh, irregular vegetables, it sounds like you're saying you have to be in the habit of just taking a look to make sure that there's no bugs that are on the Even your, as we'll see, celery may be more problematic, certain ones, but even your carrots, just take a look to make sure. But when it comes to lettuce, leafy vegetables like that, cabbage, spinach, leafy lettuce, uh, kale and the like, you have to make sure that you check every single leaf under, this, under the light to make sure that there's no bugs because even a small tiny little bug that you eat whole, whether it's alive or whether it's dead, we said you just transgressed an Isra de Raisa, where it's worth five prohibitions, five prohibitions, that's a lot, and then in the days of a Beis HaMikdash, in the days where there would be a Sanhedrin, you'd even be high of Malchus, you'd be you'd, you'd deserving of lashes for doing such a thing. So we have to be very careful, and we'll continue and we'll see how to go through this process of checking in the proper way. Have a wonderful day.